So in this video we will see the MCQs of unit number 4 which is DevOps and Software Engineering. Now see for some of you this unit will be easy because in this semester only you have studied Software Engineering and this unit is based on that only DevOps and Software Engineering. First question is what is DevOps primarily focused on? So DevOps focused on bridging the gap between software development and IT operation. Option B is correct. Next question. Which of the following is not a characteristic of traditional software development models? So continuous integration and delivery is not a traditional software development model. Option C is correct. Next question. Which tool is used for version control in DevOps? So in DevOps, the very famous version control tool is used which is Git. Option B is correct. Next question. What is Docker primarily used for? So Docker is used for monitoring applications? No. Automating testing? No. Configuration management? No. Option B will be correct here. Containerizing, containerizing applications? Option B is correct. Next one. Which DevOps tool is specifically used for continuous integration and testing of software? So the tool that is used is called Selenium option D is correct. Next question. What is the primary focus of Kubernetes? Kubernetes. What is the primary focus of Kubernetes? Is it version control, continuous integration, container container architecture or automated testing correct option is option number c next question which of the following is a configuration management tool used in devops so the docker no no ansible 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 is used for ansible is used for configuration management tool in devops option a is correct next one what is Nagios primarily used for in DevOps? So it is used for monitoring and altering. Option C is correct. Next question. What is the main objective of software testing? So the main objective of software testing is to identify and fix bugs. Very simple one. Option B will be correct here. Next question is. Which level of testing involves testing individual units or components of a software? So testing individual units means unit testing option C will be correct. Next question, what is the purpose of integration testing? So the purpose of integration testing is to test the interaction between integrated components. Option C is correct. Next question, which type of testing is performed to evaluate the software compliance with the business requirements? Is it unit testing, integration testing? system testing or acceptance testing correct option is option d acceptance testing is performed to evaluate the software compliance with the business requirement next question which devops tool is used for continuous deployment so jenkins is used for that jenkins is a devops tool which is used for continuous deployment option d is correct next question what does CI/CD stand for in the context of DevOps? So CI/CD means continuous interaction and continuous deployment. Continuous integration and continuous deployment. Option A is correct. Next question. Which of the following is a key benefit of using DevOps practice? Is it a longer deployment cycle? Reduced collaboration between teams? or faster time to market and last option is increased software bugs correct option is option c faster time to market moving to the next question what is the common use of puppet in web devops so common use of puppet in devops is to automating configuration management option a is correct Next question is, in software testing, what is the purpose of test case? Very fundamental question. The purpose of test case is to 
डिस्क्राइब अ सिंगल टेस्ट के सिनारियो ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच टाइप ऑफ टेस्टिंग इन्वॉल्व इवेलुएटिंग द सिस्टम परफॉर्मेंस अंडर लोड इज इट यूनिट टेस्टिंग डोर टेस्टिंग इंटीग्रेशन टेस्टिंग और सिस्टम टेस्टिंग करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन बी लोड टेस्टिंग इवॉल्व इवेलुएटिंग द सिस्टम परफॉर्मेंस अंडर लोड नेक्स्ट वन वट इज सेलेनियम प्राइमरीली यूज फॉर इन डेवलप्स सो सेलेनियम इज प्राइमरीली यूज फॉर ऑटोमेटेड टेस्टिंग ऑफ वेब एप्लीकेशन ऑप्शन बी विल बी करेक्ट हेयर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच टेस्टिंग लेवल इन्वॉल्व द टेस्टिंग ऑफ द इंटायर इंटीग्रेटेड सिस्टम टू वेरीफाई इट मीट्स ए स्पेसिफाइड रिक्वायरमेंट्स इज इट यूनिट टेस्टिंग इंटीग्रेशन टेस्टिंग सिस्टम टेस्टिंग और एक्सेप्टेंस टेस्टिंग ऑप्शन C will be correct. System testing. Next question is, what is Ansible mainly used for in DevOps environment? Is it for containerization, configuration management and automation, automate automation, or continuous integration? And last option is performance monitoring. Correct option is option B, configuration management and automation. Next one. What does the term infrastructure as a code refers to in DevOps? So infrastructure as a code refers to the managing and provisioning computing infrastructure through the machine readable scripts. Option B is correct. Next question, what is the main advantage of using continuous integration in DevOps? So its main advantage is it allows for frequent code integration and early detection of issue option b is correct next one in the context of software testing what is regression testing so regression testing is the testing to ensure a code changes have not affected the existing functionality option a is correct next one which of the following is a career opportunity in the field of devops is it front end developer system administrator devops engineer or graphics designer option c will be correct devops engineer is a career opportunity in the field of devops next question what is the main purpose of continuous deployment in devops so its main purpose is it's automatically deploy every code changes to production after passing all test cases Which testing type is focused on verifying the non-functional aspect of a system? Is it functional, performance testing, unit testing, or integration testing? So, if we talk about the non-functional aspect of a system, performance testing will be there. Option B is correct. Next one, what does a smog test in software testing aim to achieve? So, if a smog test means to verify the basic functionality works correctly, option B is correct. Now, the second last question is which DevOps tool is commonly used for containerization? So, Docker is used for containerization. Docker is commonly used for containerization. Option B will be correct. And the last question is in the context of DevOps, what is the purpose of using configuration management tool like Puppet and Ansible? Correct option is option B to automate the deployment and management of infrastructure. Option B will be correct. Thank you so much. Make sure to watch the videos of unit 5, 6 and rest first 3 unit also. Thank you so much. Bye.